Hey everyone, and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can have empty and blank home screen on your iPhone, which is going to look like this. So if you have ever wanted to have that, there are gonna be two ways and two options how you can achieve this. Right now, make sure that the, you first hold down on the home screen to go to the wiggle or edit mode. Now scroll all the way to the right and you have an empty screen and scroll one more time and add any random icon. It can be literally anything. We're going to remove it from the page whatsoever. So it doesn't matter what it is. Now click on these dots at the bottom, which is going to get you to all pages view. Now you can uncheck every single one of them except for the one that we just created. So it's going to be this one. Now come back to it and there is only one icon, the only one that we added. So now click on it and remove from home screen. Hit done and you ended up with the blank home screen. So it's really cool and it allows you to have nothing on it so you can clearly see the wallpaper. And the reason why we created another page was to not mess with the existing ones. Because you can every time just come back to the previous ones of course, if it doesn't glitch for some reason right now, you can see that Apple clearly doesn't want us to use it this way because you cannot get to all pages. It just glitches out like this. You can see the entire screen. But anyway, to get out of this, you can swipe like this, add anything back to the home screen again and come to the all pages view. So you can always re-enable the old ones and you're not limited with anything. Of course, you can come back to the previous view. And this thing isn't really bad, but it doesn't give you much versatility. Well, you can see that it glitches out whenever we try to come back and it's not really something that you should have. In this case, the second option is going to be this. At first, you're going to have to download this application. I'm going to show it to you right now. And it's this one right here. It doesn't even have a name. It's a blank app and this app allows you to create a blank widgets on the home screen, which are going to be the wallpaper pretty much. The link to this app is going to be down below in the description. Anyway, you come back to the home screen and you click on the edit mode. Now swipe once all the way to the end. So you have an empty screen and take a screenshot of it. So, okay, get rid of this and now click on the plus icon and search for the widgets. Now make sure to find the widgets from this app, from this blank one. That's why we downloaded the app. So tap on it and it can be anything you want, but it's going to be in the wallpaper. So it's going to be smaller blank. Tap on it. You can see that it goes right there and it just blends in. So you have an empty home screen, but in fact, there is a widget you can see right here. It just gives you the impression that the home page is empty and it's not going to glitch out of the iOS. It's a safe way to do so. So if this widget doesn't work the way uh, that it should, you need to tap on it and make sure to replace the image with the latest one. So make sure to put the screenshot that we made right here for the light as well as for the dark mode. So you're going to place sit like this, make sure that the image is there. And now when you come back, it should be here. Cause for example, if you place something different here, if you just put it this, then, I mean, it doesn't even have the right size. It's not going to let you, but if you just do something else, it's just going to look weird and make sure that the screenshot is there from the wallpaper. Plus another thing to customize and keep in mind is that you can change the orientation. So hold down on it, edit the widget, and now you can change the position. So for example, if I choose it to mid and right, although it's going to be here, it doesn't fit here because it's supposed to be in at the middle section and here on the right, you can see that it fits right here. So yes, you can of course put it whenever you want, but just make sure that you set up the position properly. So it's supposed to be top uh, left and now it's going to be uh, the regular and uh, the one that actually fits here. And you can also change uh, the name of the uh, of the widget. I usually keep it blank because we of course want to have a blank home screen, but you can put in here whatever you want. So yeah, it doesn't matter. You can put it like this and it's going to say it right under here or in the middle of the uh, of the widget. So in case you want to have like a random text in here, you also have the option to. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you want to see uh, the reason why your iPhone keeps coming back to the home screen randomly at any times, 
and it just seems like some something weird is going on make sure to check out this video right here and it's going to tell you everything what you need to know about it